Hey there, it's Buzz with another Supreme One Chunk Iron Man video, episode number three. Last time we finally got our steel axe from Implings, and this episode will take it for a spin. I also sent two straw pulls your way last time, so let's check on those. Here's the hunter pull. I was curious what everybody's thoughts on scouting or dark luring using another account. The general consensus is that as long as you don't leave the chunk, anything goes. This matches my own thoughts, so I'll allow myself to use alternate accounts to speed up progress when possible. And here is the construction pull. I'm wondering if I didn't word this one very well, or if I'm just missing something. The general consensus is that I should be allowed to go anywhere that doesn't have an overworld chunk equivalent as long as I can teleport back. This means I should probably be minigame teleporting to the fight pits right now to get started on the inferno pet grind. Obviously I won't be doing that because this is a Falador chunk man. <laughs> if you want inferno in your first chunk, feel free to make your own account and give it a spin yourself. As for the actual construction part of the question, my thoughts are still up in the air, but I feel like I'll have plenty of time to mull it over. Here's an abbreviated look at what we still have to do before Sardomen releases us from this chunk. Without further ado, let's get into the episode. Right off the bat, we get our first bow string. This will allow us to make better bows than our short bow that we have, so we can use our arrows better. Awesome. Ooh, and there we have a beginner casket. That's a good way to start the episode. Let's take a look in here and see what we get. Hmm, okay. A steel plate skirt. I think that's an upgrade. Unless... It might be the same as studded chaps, but it's pretty close. But at least we have some air down there now, you know, so... How about that 33 Hunter? Yeah. And out of nowhere, this guy shows up. Don't mind if I do. Put that in smithing. That is our first lamp smithing level. It usually starts getting a bit faster soon, so. Great. Here comes 65 Fletching. Oh boy, do I love my knife. So the pull was largely in favor of using alts. <laughs> I've been using my uh, my other iron over here for dark luring and uh, world hopping ever since the pull. So, uh, but here's the first. Oh no! Oh, don't don't do this. All right, I'll, I'll be right back. And as I was saying, <laughs> there is 34 hunter. That's four levels from barehanded gourmet amplings. And for my small sample size, it seems like Gourmet are the most common from this low tier impling spawn, but we will see how much it improves our experience when we get there. There's 35 Hunter, just uh, one, uh, three levels from Gourmet's now. Uh, just want to quickly note, I did get these studded chaps. They have fairly similar defensive stats to the steel plate skirt that I just got, uh, just better for range, so got those two. Making progress. There's 36 Hunter, uh, just two from the Gourmets. I've been running into the hop limit uh, quite a lot recently. I can get about 100 Implings caught and then I hit the limit. Uh, I'm searching with one alt and this main account and so I'm wondering if I can find a faster way to not hit that hop limit, but eh, doing okay. So last episode, I asked if anyone knew any ways to tick manipulate within my chunk, and uh, I did hear back, you guys are smarter than me. <laughs> uh, try too hard for you uh, told me that you can two tick at the, at the farming patch here if you do it like this. Which if I can get some logs, I'm, I want to show you that I can get two at a time, but oh there we go, see? <laughs> so that works great, only problem. I need to use this patch for growing other trees than just oak trees. Um, and while it's growing, I cannot two tick. Uh, so this will have to be used selectively. Uh, the other op main option is that you can chop normal oak trees and you can have 
auto retaliate on and have two NPCs or players with four tick weapons alternate attacks on you and you auto retaliate, something like that. Um, the problem with doing that with NPCs is these gardeners can't go far enough out, the, the guards can't reach this, these oak trees. So you'd have to do it with players in a PvP world, and I'm not quite ready to part with my uh, my hardcore yet, but we'll we'll make that decision farther down the line probably. Okay, so OBS just nuked Runelight from orbit, but I did just get 37 Hunter, which is one away from Gourmets. I also just recently got my first Garden Pie, which means we only need 88 instead of 91 farming, which saves months. So very close. Another goodie we got recently was a Janjerberry, which many people don't know, but it actually restores one per point. <laughs> so that finally gives us a way to get prayer points other than leveling up our prayer. So I might start get to use prayer. Cool. There's 47 farming. There is 38 hunter that is barehanded gourmet implings right there they mostly just give uh, better food for me but uh, I already have like a month's worth of KFC in the bank so <laughs> really it's just faster hunter experience so on to earth implings now I did just get this interesting item strawberries one could argue I don't know who this person would be, but you could argue that I could add a strawberry to a pie shell to make a part summer pie with the 95 cooking requirement. I'm just going to go ahead not do that. I think I think you guys can can get behind me on that one, but uh Yeah. 70 fletching coming on in. Uh, I've decided I'm going to make a whole bunch of arrow shafts, like two and a half million or something, so that I don't have to bank so many stinking logs. Because <laughs> banking took quite a while, especially if I walk from over here where I'm two ticking, so. Turns out levels go fast if you just get the lamps. Here is three smithing. Exciting. And here comes the 80th of wood cuttings. Glorious. 39 Hunter, that brings us one closer to our goal of 46 right now for Earth and Blanks, so keep going. I always say keep going. Why do I always say keep going? I'm not like gonna stop. That's the big four zero. We're headed to the moon. I have 21 mystery boxes here that I've been collecting and I've decided it's probably worth opening them now. With the nearest ring mold being still many chunks away and so many guards to kill for iron ore in this chunk, waiting until the ring of wealth is probably not the best call. Anyway, here goes. Wish me luck. Well, there they were. <laughs> I'll start uh, just doing them as I get them now, and I'll only show them if I get something interesting. So hopefully I'll have something to show. A little addendum here. Yes, the tooth half key was a rare drop table, and yes, I should also have dropped my easy clue scroll before opening those. Ugh. 81, choppy choppy. Local landbound chunk man learns to fish better from helping a cat go to sleep. There's 41 Hunter, one closer to Earth Emplings. So I just got another easy attempt. I actually got a double <laughs> beginner and easy clue from this, but we'll go give it a try. We'll see how, how, it, how it fares this time. Oh my goodness, I got an easy casket, guys. <laughs> it took 10 clues in a row to get it, but we got it. Okay, let's go to the bank and open this. Okie doke, here it goes. One, two, three. 
Purple fire lighters. Um, fell the pills. Water runes. Black dagger. Well, I wish I got a black axe, but I was able to complete a clue scroll. <laughs> the second one after 1400 hours. I'll take it. A special thank goes to Matt Guffin for helping out with the bond. Much appreciated. Here's another chippy choppy whippy whoppy. 42 Hunter. That's in simplings. If I had a net. Eh. 72 Cuddy Wuddy. <laughs> but these actually do take a while with just, uh, just shafts. Thala, don't tell me it's just another wood cutting level. Ah. 43 Hunter. 73 slicing and dicing and stuff. Here is five smithing from the lamp. It feels like these levels are going so much faster than Hunter ever did, but maybe it's because I don't care as much, I'm not sure. <laughs> Oh my goodness, it was a one-step clue. Oh, perfect, Blubby. Grab that bad boy for a rainy day. Slowly. Alright. I don't remember what number this is, but we're hoping for an elemental staff. That's our hope. Pretty much. Or a black axe, but let's see. One, two, three. Ah. Do I have one of those? I have a dark wizard robe. But now I have the blue wizard robe, which is better because it's bluer. So, looks like we got some cabbage. Eh. Not too bad for our ninth beginner. There's 44 Hunter. Brings us two away from Earth Implings. Here we go again. 45 Hunter. That leaves us one short of those precious, precious Earth Implings. Another one. Another, another one. Here we're coming up on halfway to two and a half million shafts. I chose two and a half million because it's about how many I would need to get 99 fletching from iron arrows, so. Kind of arbitrary. And here comes the big 46 Hunter. That is bare handed earth implings. They've got some, some really great things on their table, so I'm really looking forward to these in addition to faster experience. And here's our first goodie from Earth Emplings, gold ore. At a rate out of one out of 10, that'll be pretty good for our, our, our smithing grind towards 50. So, good to have. Here's an interesting one. A mithril pickaxe. Now right now, that's not very useful to me as I have nothing to mine, but if I get my uh, north, east, uh, well, my west chunk before I get the east chunk, then that'll be a, a definite, uh, definite pickaxe upgrade while I'm going for the mining pit. So here is another interesting one. We got buckets of sand now, which will uh, make us be able to use our seaweed so we can train crafting from level one off of molten glass um, very slowly because seaweed is a one out of 120 sorry one out of 100 so uh, yeah it'll be a while but we only have to go to level 20 and then we can cut sapphires to hard leather which is 28 and then yeah but yeah crafting sweet so here, in the presence of Sardomen, we'll do our first crafting. I've, I've accumulated 12 seaweed, which I'm hoping cannot be burnt. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah, baby, two crafting. Nothing new? Sad. Three crafting. 
and a bit. So we need two more seaweeds and then we're good. I'll probably just um, just use my seaweed as soon as I can get a level. Thank you, blue boy, for another smithing level. There we go for 47 hunter, headed towards 52 for essence simplings now. But the chopper, it ain't stopping. There's 48 hunter. Here's 75 fletching, that is rune arrows someday. Cool. Oh, awesome. Here's another lamp for seven smithing. These levels are just shooting up. I can't stop. Here's another one that's hard to stop. Here comes 87 wood cutting. That is getting pretty high. The mobile client may have lost some oak tree textures here, but we still land us up with a thick 33 fishing. Yay! We stole two more seaweed and landed ourselves four crafting. Just 16 levels till sapphires, boys and girls. Here's our next experience milestone. We've surpassed 20 million total experience. That is a lot. Two days later and I've already gotten another smithing level. Eight smithing. Ugh, oh, these are so deserved, so deserved. There's 49 Hunter. We're just three away from the big 5-2 for Essence. Let's keep on going. Still no super combos, by the way. It's been it's been three levels on overworld implings. No super compost from these earths. I don't know. I don't know. Here is a rare desktop fletching level. 76 coming in. Um been going pretty well. Uh, the last couple days have been horrible for seeds, <laughs> but uh, this this U seed may have just saved my life, honestly. Two million shafts, not bad. 88 wood cutting, nine smithing. Name a better combo. I'll wait. There is the big 50 hunter. Here is a rare fishing level on desktop. All the way up to 34 already. It's kind of crazy, just from just from evil Bob randoms. Creeping up on 1,000 total, too. Neato. Oh my goodness, it finally happened. We're halfway to level 51. <laughs> we finally got ourselves some super compost. So now we can start planting our maple trees and start farming. I'll just show you what I have right now for seeds. I've got all these acorns, willows, and maples, and those which I can't put in uh, in pots yet. But, so I'll probably, uh, there's, a, <laughs> there's a low chance I'll ha get enough super compost for all these oaks. So I'll aim for just finishing up my maples and working down on my willows eventually with the super compost and just, uh, well, Sorry, Oaks, you're stuck with normal compost, but uh, let's go plant one. Okay, well, there is our first maple tree in the ground. Not diseased at all. Perfect. It would be great if they could add secateurs to this lady here, but uh, I'm not sure why she doesn't sell them. But that's just me complaining. You know, men, they just want one thing. And it is this maple tree. It is alive and happy and so much experience and not dead and very alive. And with these newfound maple logs, we get new best in slot range and a nice shield. And we're ready to pump out some range training whenever we feel like it. I promise I'm not going to record every maple tree, but this one gives us 48 farming. Yay! There is 51 Hunter. We're just one away from Essence and Blanks. And we've achieved 1,000 total level. It's finally reached the same as my IQ. Oh, so good. Here's 49 farming. That's four maple trees. Not dead. Feels great. 
So I checked the health of my maple tree this morning, and then Jagex did a rollback because of their update. And then when I came back, it was dead. Oh, that's the worst way to lose your first maple tree. Oh. But hey, at least Duramax Iron is having a good day. Here's 99 farming for that, Chad. Grats, dude. Behold, 77 fletching. The last of its kind from exclusively arrow shafts. And 89 woodcutting was soon to follow. But those both pale in comparison to the new 50 farming months in the making. Oh, and hey, Jagex gave us 10 smithing too. That's, that's pretty cool. And here we wrap up our shafts. There's two and a half million of them. So we'll finish off 87 fletching using oak longbows now. And then we won't have any more fletching to bank. We'll just bank 99 fire making in logs. And then we'll, instead of banking 99 construction, because we'll probably get those through bagged plants, <laughs> uh, we'll just drop all the logs after that. So cool. Here's the big level, 52 Hunter. That is bare-handed essence simplings somewhere. Right here. That'll give me a great source of runes for training magic, because I have to go pretty stinking high. And, and now is the best time I can think of. I have some choice words for those of you that think it's funny to see someone luring an impling into a junk and you weren't you weren't interested in this silly baby impling, but but now it's interesting, so. You have to take it. I I have words, but they are not appropriate for this family-friendly video. Here's the first essence simpling on the account. There's some useless pure essence, but it's all about the symbology here. I caught one. <laughs> that means I can get everything on the drop table, which is awesome. Let's go take a quick look at the bank. Okay, so in the comments of last video, I promised I would show my bank. So, we'll do that. Um, <laughs> uh, it probably doesn't look too much different, except for the Impling tab, but, uh, yep, just all this stuff. Arrow shafts, I've, I've been keeping the Elite and the Hard Clues in here, so that I'm more likely to get Medium Clues uh, from the, the, the nests. I'm more likely to get the step that I want. This hasn't changed. I've gotten some of these from First Implings and earth runes as well. Other than that, not much there. Here. This is my seed tab right now. Um, yeah, those are oaks, those are willows. Anything else to say here? I've got three magics, which is good. Uh, those bird's eggs. You can see them. Uh, in the vent tab again, not a whole lot. Nothing here, nothing there. Right, this is the new tab. Oh, it's all the impling related stuff. Um, things of note, I've been using these as I get them, so I've gotten more. I've also been using super compost as I get them, so I've got more than that. Um, quite a few of these to restore per points. Uh, a lot of food, a lot, a lot of food. Getting some smithing experience. Yeah, that's pretty much all I can do that's interesting here, so there you go. <laughs> a lot of a lot of lamp blanks for that. So I've put together this little spreadsheet here, which is a good way for me to motivate myself and sort of track my progress here. Uh, I'm sorry if this if your eyes glaze over here, but I just thought I'd share it with you. Break it down by seed types here, um, from acorn up to magic which are the, the seeds that I've gotten and can use. Um, I'm keeping record of how many are in the bank, how many have survived, check their health, how many have died, rip. Um, this XP per each includes planting and whatever compost I'm using for that seed type. This is the estimated logs per each. Uh, to get one acorn, it should normally take about 1861 logs. Uh, and this is how many it would take to get this number, 35 plus 21, so 56 acorns. 
Um, and over here, I also have my Wicked Experience Total Logs and Total Logs this episode. So overall, for the, these three, I'm under the under the rate here. But for use and magics, I've been getting quite lucky. So uh, so that, that's that's pretty good. Um, this is also the pet chance, which depends on my farming level based on this experience. Um, this is how much pet chance I have just sitting in the bank. That all multiplied together here. That's one out of what it is. Um, this is how much I have actually gotten, actually checked. There's a one out of 535 chance I would have gotten it by now, so not, never lucky. Here's the bank experience. That's pretty self-explanatory. This is all of it together, and this is it added to my already added to my experience that I have already. This is the split of how each seed gives me its experience, so I'm getting most experience uh, from from you seeds. Well, I will be. Uh, yeah, and that takes into account the, the survived and the unplanted already. And same for pet share. There's some, this column's a little wonky. Uh, it doesn't all add up to 100%, but it's pretty close. So it's interesting that most of the pet comes from acorns and willows, whereas most of the experience comes from use here. And this is, um, if I have 15 farming, I can add my banked experience to my current experience. If I have 30 farming, I can add this to this. And yeah, so that just tells me how far I can actually get. So that gives me my net level here of 56. And then this percent banked is the how close I am to 88 farming <laughs> uh, using this number here, which is all my banked experience plus my current experience. So 7.8% might not sound good to you guys, but to me that sounds really good. I'm, I'm making a lot faster progress than I thought, and I'm not burnt in the slightest, so that's all good signs for me. But um, I plan to show this at the end of every episode that I, that I do some major woodcutting in, um, but I won't need to give you this huge in-depth explanation. Unless it looks different, because I, I might not be in love with these columns, but there you go. That's how it's going. So there you have it, ladies and gents. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the episode, spending some time with me in Falador, and, uh, well, smell you later!